at uh, 2023 elevation and it's a model 113. We'll take a little walk around and then I'll show you in it. This one's kind of neat. It's got some horizontal and vertical siding both. Uh, white trim, white thermopane windows. I'm a little too chubby to fit through there. Oh, I can fit here just fine. It's a beautiful trailer. Blue with white trim. Beautiful trailer. Elevation. It's under a hundred thousand. I'll get the MSRP when I'm walking by my little cheat sheet. There's quite a few trailers here as you can see. But again, this is a model 113 and it's a 2023 elevation. So let's head around the front. I'll get the MSRP and then we'll go in and have a look around. And I'll take a few pictures of it. So this one, the MSRP says it is ninety-four eight seventy-five. So ninety-five thousand. And get you one of these. It's got a house type rear entry door. It's a really big loft. Dormer extends all the way to the front. You got a sleeper sofa, I'm sure. But let's look. Yep, sleeper sofa. Rocker recliner. Uh, plank wood flooring. This would be more likely than not PVC flooring. Uh, great big kitchen. Swing arm mount for the TV. The cabinets are kind of cool, two-tone. Blue and white. There's the stairs leading up. I'll go up there in a minute. As soon as we look at the rest of the trailer. Big old farm sink with the pull-out sprayer. Four burner range with oven. Oh, this fridge was awfully nice, too. Uh, it's definitely an upgraded fridge with the ice maker and water. It's cool. Ceiling fan up front. Um, it's going to be a little dark in the bathroom because I have no power. Hopefully, you'll get the idea. There's the shower and the sink. There's a seat in here. I guess you can make it out. Shower only. Um, you have a nice linen cabinet here. Full extension ball bearing drawers. Uh, I guess we can see in there a little bit. A lot of cabinetry. And you have a corner cabinet here, which is good too. Every little bit of cabinetry helps. Oh, let's see what we got in these. Uh, yep, adjustable shelving. Adjustable shelving. House type rear entry door, deadbolt and doorknob. It's always a bonus. Here's some big closets. Pretty tall on both sides. Closet rod on both. And then again, your drawers have your full extension ball bearing drawer guides. You've got some USB ports and outlets and nightstands. And them are loose, so you can modify your bedroom at will if you want to put a big king in here. You got more than enough room. 
I'm going to assume this is the power panel. Yep. Just what I thought. All the circuit breakers clearly marked. Had a shut, which is great. I love it. Thing, everything in here is well thought out. Elevation makes a nice trailer. Wish I could show it. There you go. That brightened it up. Just got to hold the camera proper. Okay. We're going to go upstairs to the loft. This is a long kitchen. You notice that there's carpet only in the loft. There's none in the bedroom, none in the main room, none in the kitchen. Uh, there's only going to be carpet in the loft. So here we go up the stairs and looking at the loft. It's a big loft. By golly, couple movable cabinets up there. They have an air conditioner and it's going to be wired somewhere up here for coax. I see right there, there's a USB charger. The coax is probably in the corner. I'm not going to crawl all the way over there, but it's a nice big loft. Let me see how many feet it is. About 16 foot. It's all shaped though. Okay, I'm gonna turn around. Here's my picture window. <laughs> Nothing like having a little fun. Okay, let's come back in through the picture window and head down the stairs and go get some pictures. So this is a elevation model 113. If you like it, come on over and see it in person. Take a ride to Sublet. There's plenty to look at here. There's no lack of trailers. Rusty's a darn nice guy. Well, have a great day, and if you enjoyed my video, please hit like and subscribe, and I'll keep making them. Have a great day.